Hey, welcome back to another episode of Just Call Me Josie. So this is going to be a complete walkthrough of my cruelty-free makeup collection and I will split this into several different episodes. So make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the other parts of my makeup collection videos. So here we have the first drawer and this one contains all of my eye and brow stuff. Some glittery things over here as well as my Colourpop Super Shock shadows all the way over there. We'll get to those in a little bit. So first and foremost in this compartment right here I have all of my brow products. So I have two Colourpop brow gels over here because you need a backup. It's that good. I also have the Glossier Boy Brow. I would say that the Glossier Boy Brow gives a more natural look, so I tend to use this one on a no makeup makeup day when I just want my brows to look a little bit more put together, whereas the Colourpop Brow was a gel I use when I do a full face of makeup. This one does look a little bit more textured, I would say. So I love both of them, but for different purposes. I also have the Colourpop Brow Color, and this is very well used. As you can tell, I pretty much use this one every day that I do my makeup to fill in my brows and I outline them with a pencil. For that I use the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. This is by far my favorite that I've found. It is pretty cool toned. So if you're looking for a cool toned brown shade then this might be a good pick for you. Moving on we can find my eyeliners as well as my eyeshadow primers. Now this section over here is really really small I am aware. I happen to be one of those that doesn't really love to put on a winged eyeliner. I do have slightly hooded eyelids so I feel like it kind of takes away from all of the work that I put down on my eyeshadow if I cover it up with a liner. And also my waterline doesn't really agree with the eyeliners in it either. So yeah, I'm quite limited when it comes to my liner options. But I do have a black liquid liner. This is the Physicians Formula Line Booster and I really do enjoy this one the few times that I do reach for a liquid liner. This is what the tip looks like on that one. I also have a traditional Kajal liner pencil from Urban Decay in the shade Stag. This is just a dark brown. Hardly ever gets used but you know, I feel like... I should have at least one Kajal in my arsenal. I also for some reason feel like I should have a colored liner even though I never use it. So this is the shade Hotline, does have some metallicness to it. And once you screw the lid on, it sharpens itself. How nice. I also have a cream gel liner from Colourpop in the shade Besta, which is a beautiful deep aubergine maroon type shade and I do really enjoy this one from time to time when it's in a blue nude. So moving on to my eyeshadow primers, okay. this is the only one that we need to mention. This is the Fenty Pro Filter Primer and this is so good, you guys. I highly recommend it. I will have a review up on this shortly on the channel. Now here we have my singles that have not been deposited because I cannot figure out how to do it for the life of me. Well, I do know how to do it because I've seen people do it. I guess I'm just too scared to attempt it when it comes to heat and all that. It just yeah, freaks me out a little bit. So I have a Makeup Geek pigment in the shade Afterglow. It's a gorgeous champagne. Now I actually don't know what is happening to Makeup Geek. I feel like they have fallen off the radar. I definitely hope that they will make a massive comeback because I do love their products for sure. Great quality. Here's two prismatic eyeshadows from NYX. So here we have Fireball and Golden Peach. I mean for being drugstore these are really really great quality I have to say. Look at those swatches. So pretty. This has pretty much become a staple in my makeup collection. I get so much use out of this one and it is currently in my product pan so yeah comes in really handy. Back in the day I must have thought that my life was going to end if I did not have a peach smoothie at home. So yeah, I purchased a bunch of them and I still haven't gotten around to this one. So yeah, that was quite unnecessary. So here are my mascaras and I am on the hunt for the best cruelty free mascara out there that I can find. I haven't really found it yet. I want something that is just super dramatic and volumizing. So next up I'm gonna try the IT Cosmetics Super Hero Mascara because I've heard great things about that one so if you have tried the one let me know. Now this little guy is actually a holy grail mascara for me that I will always continue to purchase even though it doesn't offer that baba boom that I want for my upper lashes. This is the only mascara that I have found that does not transfer or smudge on my bottom lashes and I used to always walk around with black smudges underneath my eyes and yeah there was definitely a look but 
no more with this one so i'm so happy i found this guy and then we have these three and i actually enjoy all three of them they're all great mascaras i just went to bit more volume from each of them. We have the Milani Lash Effect and this one gives really sort of flirty wispy lashes. Then we have the Soyiva Graphic Lash Mascara and this one gives really long lashes. And then we have the Buxom Mascara and this one gives a little bit of everything. It is almost there but not quite. And then over here we have what I like to call my little funny bin. And in here I have some toppery things and glittery goodness that I like to play with. First up we have the Hourglass Scattered Light Glittery Eyeshadow in the shade Blaze. And this is the most sophisticated type of glitter eyeshadow out there. It is so stunning on the lid, sparkles so prettily. So here we have a little swatch of Blaze right there. I also have a glitter liner from NYX and this is in the shade Crystal Silk and this has a great price point and it doesn't burn my eyes so yeah I absolutely adore these ones I also have two liquid eyeshadows from Stila and I definitely want to get some more I have a shimmer and glow in the shade Jezebel and a glitter and glow in the shade Kitten Karma I actually prefer the shimmer and glow so this is Jezebel because these don't have any sort of fallout whereas I found the glitter and glows do end up on the rest of my face throughout the day unfortunately i still wear it though because it's so beautiful so here we have my most favorite part of this drawer of course my beloved colourpop super shock shadows i also have some jelly much over here now i absolutely adore these there is nothing quite like the colourpop super shock shadows and the high intensity and impact they give on the eyes whilst not having any sort of creasing or fading throughout the day at least not on my eyelids the one thing i wish that they would improve on though is the longevity of the formula or the shelf life or i don't know what you call it in english so yeah the price point is super low but they don't last you that long so whether or not that is worth it is up to you but i still purchase them because they are so beautiful so let me show you guys some of my favorite shades if you're looking for a great yellow then here we go again is a great option that's it right there. You might think that this is a super boring shade, but this is one of my most used ones and it is so beautiful. It's a caramel brown that has a slight satin sheen to it. This is the shade Desert. I strongly hope that they still have this in shock. Oh, that's another thing that I don't love about the Super Shock shadows is that they discontinue all of my favorite shades. White Rabbit is another one of my favorites. I don't hear that many people talking about this one, but you should definitely check it out. So here are some of my favorites. Now if you want to see more swatches, I actually have a video where I swatch all of these up on my channel. You can go check that out. Over here I have my Jelly Match shadows. I have three currently. These are super messy so I'm just going to show them to you in the pot. This is the shade Foxes. This is the shade Once and Flora which is my favorite because it is a duochrome and I am a Gemini so I do love my duochrome shades. And then lastly we have the shade Short Circuit so let's move on to the next drawer.